Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Insurrection achievement that you get in the Legion X pack, which is a requirement for the Nightborn. So hopefully you'll enjoy this video, hopefully it's helpful. If it is, go ahead and press that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get into the video. So the first quest is going to be gotten from First Arconist by Lursra. And what we've got to do is find people to feed the fruit. So we'll have some glowy people over here, I think. Yep, some refugees. we we'll click on the quest icon, give them the fruit, and then we go back to her to turn it in. Alright, the next quest is Silence in the City. We head over left and talk to the oculus dude so we're gonna go here and we'll turn it in here all right for the next part crack down we walk over to this teleporter and let him teleport us once teleported put on your mask and then we have to go to the circle it's not very far all right once we get to the circle Click on that. We go to the next circle. An illusion. Watch out for the illusions. Go in here and we talk to him. He is gone. Okay, from here we're gonna pick up the quest answering aggression and no reason to stay. For answering aggression, we have to be aggressive. And we just take out 12 forces. For no reason to stay, we have to talk to a few of these guys. Tell them to basically evacuate. So there's a few of them that we need to talk to. Two in this first building. And for each of the four homes that you evacuate, you'll have to do a little mini quest. Just make sure you read this. And it'll say they've evacuated once you've done the little quest. Some of them are just clicking on them. Some of them you have to kill an enemy that comes to the house. And others you have to find both of his children. It's fairly straightforward. Well, once you've completed both of those, then go to the quest turn in. Okay, the next quest is going to be regroup. The first part of that is to follow him over this way. Keep following, following. Excellent timing as usual, Deline. Okay, after he gets in the boat, it'll change over and you just hop in, go for a ride. Once you get kicked off the boat, you'll be prompted to run over here. And then we teleport to the top and then turn in the quest. Once you turn in the quest, come over here and activate this beacon. And then use the teleporter. Okay, and then you will turn in the way back home quest into first Arcanist. And we will be picking up the quest. Visitor in Shalaran. We'll head outside of the cave. Once outside of the cave, we'll talk to Aruel. Click on Arluel and click right this way. And then we bring Arluel back down into the cave. Okay, once back down, talk to First Arcanist. And we've got the Achievement Progress Lockdown completed. Right, and the next quest is going to be continuing the cure. So we go to another refugee, give them the fruit, turn that back into First Arcanist. And then we'll be getting the quest Delusioned Defector. Alright, so from here you head to the city, meet up with the defector, and we'll turn in the quest here, 
Then we pick up a quest here. And now we should have missing persons and more like me. Alright, so for more like me, we have to find these dark watch subjugators. We click this icon. You do have to be in your costume. And if they are bad and not your friends, they'll attack you. If they're good, you'll get a quest marker. Like so. Okay, for the missing persons part, we have to kill the demons in an attempt to loot a communicator. We may have to kill quite a few, depending on your RNG, of course. Alright, so once you've collected the communicator and you've identified the five traitors or rebels, whatever you want to call them, we go and turn these quests in, pick up a new quest from him, which will be hostage situation. Okay, for hostage situation, we're going to go back over here. We're going to click on one of these guys so that we join them. And this will have some video play and we just follow through it. Alright, so that will take us to this island, Order must be where we get the quests here, in the business of souls, and then we also want to come over here, and get this quest, which is smuggled. Okay, for smuggled, we want to release Maribeth. The second part of Smuggled is we want to release the prisoners. We'll go over here to this cage, kill everything around it, and open the cage. Right, for Business of Souls, we want to come up here and kill... Argos? I think I'm saying that name right. Pretty simple. Right, and once we kill Argus and release all the prisoners, come back here, turn in these quests, pick up the new quest from him, which will be winning refuge, kill that, and go on to the boat. Once you arrive back, you just click on him. Alright, so for the next part, it won't really tell you this, but you need to head back to the cave and talk to First Arcanist. And then we need to cure another refugee. Once the refugee is cured, talk to the Arcanist again. And that gives us the quest, Tavern Keeper's Fate. So we come over this way. And we're going to take this portal right here. Okay, after some story, click on her and turn in the quest. Take the new one from Arcanist, which is Essence Triangulation. Alright, so for this one, we need to go to the circles, find these echoes, and do a little clicky clicky. Listen to the little RP, and after a moment, it should show a completed portion, and then we'll go to the next circle. Okay, at the second circle, do the same thing. Click, wait for everything to occur, and it tell you that the portion of that's complete, and then head to the next circle. All right, after you do the third click, you'll be prompted to come to a fourth location, where we turn in this quest, and we pick up the quest on public display where we have to first talk to her, tell her I'm ready, and then we're going to track him down. Okay, when this facade appears, just click on it, click on the big one, click on all of them. Alright, so after all the story and clicky clicky, we turn the quest to our conist and get the next quest, Waxing Crescent. Alright, so your next location will bring you to Thoromir. We have to kill him. 
I will make an example of you first. It's got a lot of health considering. Okay, we loot him for the control orb. And then we proceed to the next location. Alright, once we're over here, we click on this orb. Or prison. And release the Vanther. Turn the quest into him. Okay, after a moment of RP, Vanther will give you a new quest. Sign of the Dusk Lily. In which case, we need to place it. So we just click on him. They wanted to make an example. We and we go through more RP. All right, and once you've done the Dusk Lily, you'll be prompted to come back to the cave to talk to the first Arcanist. We'll pick up the next quest, Stabilizing Suramar. All right, for Stabilizing Suramar, the next bit is just to do 10 Suramar um, world quests which you should have unlocked by this point so you just go through and do 10 of those all right so once you have all 10 world quests you come back to the arcanist turn that in and we'll get the quest eating before meeting which requires us to cure another refugee so you turn that in you head towards Suramar and you're gonna look for Archmage Khadgar gonna talk to him pick up the other quests all right so once you get all the quests you'll have three quests you only have to do two which is down to business and taking a promenade I mean you get a better future which you can do while you're doing everything but it's not required all right so down to business is fairly straightforward you just gotta come and kill basically 15 of these Nightborns. If you decide to do a better future, it's simply clicking on the insurgents that are green and glowy. Alright, for taking the promenade, you've got to find these two guys. And they will actually give you a sub-quest. So for this one, we have Nullified. For Nullified, we killed the Arcane Sentinel to get one piece. And then the second piece is that staff that we'll pick up. And then we go and turn in Nullified. Once you turn in Nullified, you'll get Shield Meet Spell. We come over to this Arc Shaper. We use this. And we kill the Arc Shaper. My defenses were perfect. We'll go turn in that quest. All right. Now we locate the second person in the promenade quest, and they too will give us two sub quests: powering down the portal and crystal clearing. For powering down the portal, we just go right here. And we kill Overseer Ingra. Okay, and now we have to do Crystal Clearing. For Crystal Clearing, all we have to do is click on these glowy crystals. And there's four of them. Once we've completed those... We go back, turn those in, and then we head back and turn in the quest with Khadgar. All right, once we turn those in, we pick up the quest from the first Arcanist, Break an Arm. We'll head towards that. All right, and once we arrive to the location, we'll find this guy, the Arm of Magistrix, and we'll kill him and then go back to turn it in. Once you've completed that, come back to the cave and you guessed it. Speak to the Arcanist, get the fruit, heal a refugee, and then turn it into her to pick up the next quest, Mouths to Feed. Mouths to Feed is optional and you just turn it into the Arcanist down here. 
the other quest that we'll have is Lyadrin's Command, and we head that way. All right, so back where Khadgar is, we talk to Lady Lyadrin. We get the quest trolling them. We get the quest from Khadgar. Something's not quite right. For the quest trolling them, we find these little glowing things and we click on them for the quest something's not quite right we click on this which will dispel illusions and if there's any traitors they'll come attack us the trolling them items are different as you walk around but they are shown on your map it be fairly easy fine once those are done we go back there to cadgar and the lady turn in those quests and we get the new quest arming the rebels in which case we've got to go speak to victory over here so we speak to her like so then we get the quest citizens army we also get the quest we need weapons, and then we get the quest, blade, Learning from the Dead. Suramon. We will then click on this birdie. Alright, so after a long trip, you'll arrive, and you'll find these goodies to click on that we will teleport for the We Need Weapons. For Learning from the Dead, we'll find these books right here littered around that we have to pick up for the citizens army oh, we want to find these ghosts and kill them gotta kill about 20 of them all right so after you complete all three of those you have to return back to these guys and they don't give you a, a way to get there you without having to do something else you have to manually fly back or earth back once we turn those in we'll get the quest from him which is trial by demon fire we'll head to that quest all right once we get to the quest we'll be presented with this dude that we've got to kill pretty uh easily recognizable dude and then we will go turn it in. All right, after you turn that in, you're prompted to go back to the cave, cure another refugee. We'll turn in the quest to first Arcanist and get the quest ready for battle. All right, so we head back to this camp, which is looking much more filled out. And we've got to interact with three people. The of the light. The so we'll talk with rebels. the lady, Let us see what they can come do. over here. And we will talk with Tyrandi. So the time has come to then come over here city of my birth. and talk I with Verisa. Then we go turn it in. Alright, so you'll turn that into Cadgar. You'll get another quest from Cadgar. And then you've got to go through this staged event. And basically just make your way through and follow the instructions. All right, once you get through that section, go to Cadgar, pick your reward, and we pick up the next quest, Staging Point. For that, we're going to go in here. Over to here. And clicky on this thing. The portal worked and we are still in one... We then turn in the there quest to Cadgar, and it looks like we'll go back to the cave. All right, once back at the cave, talk to Arconis, do another refugee, talk to Arconis again for the next quest, which is Gates of the Nighthold. Head that way. All right, so we go back to Cadgar. We talk to him, tell him we're ready for the siege. After that, we'll be prompted with a video, and then prompted to run over here, where he's going to get her out of a time phase. Basically, we just have to guard him here. 
After you protect him, he'll send her away and teleport us back. We turn in the quest. And we get Paragon of the Nightfallen. Which is not required. Instead, we go over here. Talk to the Arcanist and get those scrying eyes. Alright, for this next part, we go to the quest area and you should put on your mask just to avoid any unnecessary things. And we find four of these orbs. After we get all four of the orbs, we come back to the cave, talk to Thalrissa. And we're going to get the quest Scouting on the Beach. Sorry, Scouting the Breach. We go over here and we take this, no, this teleporter. Alright, once we teleport, we go out, take a right, take another right, and we're going to find her in the corner. But right, and from there she wants us to clear a path, so we just follow the tunnel down and kill everything on our way. Alright, and once she is down here, there'll be a little bit of story. We turn in the quest to her and pick up the Seal of Power. Alright, so after that you need to run back up the stairs, take the portal, and then fly to Kelbor. It'll take you to this cave entrance. And you just run in here. Once you get I back to this room, here, but... they will appear. This ley line is being... They will follow her and she'll start interacting with this device. We just have to defend her for a moment. And then it will tell us that we can turn it in. Alright, go back to the cave, feed a refugee, talk to her again, and we will get the message our mission, a message from our enemies. We click on this glowy thingy. Once the RP is done, click on the Arcanist, and we're gonna go take a teleporter right here. All right, once you teleport over, you will be presented with some RP, and now we have to rescue terrified citizens all right so these are the citizens just click on them until you get six of them once you have freed all six head back to the cave talk to the arcanist pick up the next question or uh, next quest the first quest that you'll do or get is the telemantic expanse we've got to come down here and talk to Chief Telemancer Oculus. Why, hello. Okay, and then he'll give us the quest Survey the City. The or Survey the City. The uh, we the put on our mask, land in here, and then use the clicky button. Of course, if they see us doing that, it won't yet. work. Ah, well, it takes us out of that, so no, I guess don't worry about putting on your mask. We just follow it through until we can get through everything. Well, in reality, for this quest, you don't have to move at all. Uh, you can just keep clicking it, and you'll get a few percentage every time you do. Once you've completed that, go back to the cave, turn it into the Oculus, and it will give you the next quest, Experimental Instability. Alright, so we've got to head to the Oculus Workshop. We click on this portal here. That brings us into this test chamber. On our way through here, we'll need to pick up these orbs. Once you have all four of the orbs, you'll make your way to the circle and pick up the notes. Then take this portal here. That portal will take us back to the cave. We go down here, talk to Enough. Oculus, turn that quest in. Next, we complete the quest, the Fell Soul Experiments. 
All right, so once in the fell hold, we need to locate the crystals that are glowing like so. Oops. And initiate the test. I think they're gonna die from this acid before they do anything. Okay, so there's one. Once you've completed all three of those, you'll get a brand new quest right away. It has you go over here. And we do the same thing. Initiate the test. Once that's completed, we go back to the cave, talk to the Arcanist, and get the quest Felborn No More. Alright, once we get to the next quest area, we have to kill some Felborn. Only gotta kill about eight of them, so not too bad. We also have to locate Valthus and kill Valthus. Valthus will be located in here. We just go and kill him. And then finish killing our eight. All right, so the next step is to go back to the cave, turn it in, beat another refugee, and pick up the next quest. I'll just leave this here. All right, so the next location will lead you to this cave entrance here. We're gonna go ahead and head in. All right, once we make it in, we'll be at this energy distributor. We click on that and head back out. Next location will take you to the Kelbalor location. We just run in here. Once we get back here, we place this like so. And then head back out. All right, and third location will be Elor Sean. And again, we just follow through until we find the disruptor. All right, once you use the disruptor, exit out of there and then return back to the cave and then turn in the quest here at the first arcanist. All right, so you pick up the next quest from Chief Telemancer. Have you made a discovery? And then you go to him and say, I am ready to enter the sanctum. May your path be Once you talk to him, there'll be a little bit of RP. And then we have to go up here and click on this portal. All right, so once you're in, you'll, you're in, you'll see that your plan has foiled. So we've got to find our way in. So we're going to go up the stairs. And we're going find to head for that and take it to down. these. And we're going to defeat the people around them so that they will disappear. Once we've done that, we're going to run up this way to confront Dalian right there. And we kill. Now that dog is put down. Once he's dead, we go into the sanctum directly behind him and make our way down. Once we get to the end, we're going to use this orb right here to summon some of the withered to drain our soul. We just have to defend them. Once her shield's down, we go through here. And fight her. Okay, now that she's dead, I'm sending we're gonna come over here. With we're gonna dead, wait for them to be done RPing. Okay, once they do the RP, they'll lead you down here. You talk to Cadgar, and congratulations, you have now unlocked the insurrection achievement, which of course is a requirement to get the Nightborn. So yeah. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, go ahead and press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and we will catch you in the next one. As always, thanks for watching.